Hi, I'm Laura from Water Power Technologies. I'm here with Mr. Julian today to talk about his Papa Pump install. Originally, we've been using uh, an electric pump in, in the main farmyard, um, but we wanted to revert back to the old well. And so we've looked at other pump technologies to be able to resolve it because we right. don't have power down at the well. And so we've looked into the ram pumps, and um, as we like building things, we've had a go at building our own. So, ah, um, so is this, this one is, of yours? This is one of ours. It is Mark II. Mark I um, just have one valve. Um, uh, but what we found was we couldn't get enough pressure generated to get us to the top of the hill. So right. we worked out the maths, and actually we needed about 35 to 40 psi to get the water to the top of the hill. Right. And um, unfortunately, with the way that it, the pulses work, and the size of the pump, we just, it couldn't do it. Right. So we actually then developed uh, number three, which was the steel version, yeah. military grade, <laughs> and, um, but we found that we didn't have enough flow for that. So um, this is the one we created, and this is the water coming from Sorry. our well, coming down the hill, coming into the pump, and traditionally with round pumps, what you have is, is valves, mm -hmm. and the water exhausts through here, and the valves shuts suddenly, and then the pulse of energy fires the water through here and back up to the top of the hill. Right. And um, as long as there's enough flow, the valve shut, creating the pulse. Now the design is fine. What tends to happen with this type of design of pump is eventually the clackers within the valve, within the one-way valves, they destroy themselves because of the energy buildup. The energy is so strong that the, the valves tend to break down. And these are, these are quite expensive. They're about 30 or 40 pounds each. Oh, so, so quite a lot then. Quite a lot of money. So actually, long term, it's kind of self-destructive really, this type of pump. The Papa Tump differs from that and differs from this design in that it doesn't have the clacker type valves. Right. And we've studied a bit, obviously, before we purchased to make yeah. sure it was going to do what it said on the tin. Everyone wants to make sure that they're buying a product that... Of course. You, you're convinced by it, but <laughs> yeah. um, I wasn't. So um, basically the water comes in here and out here mm -hmm. and instead of the valves what we've got is this diaphragm yep. and it works like an aeroplane wing and as the water travels over it the change in pressure causes the, the, the rubber ring just to clunk closed. Right. That clunk causes the same pulse as these valves closing here. So how have you found like, a cost comparison between what it costs to do yours and actually purchasing the Papa Pump and installing it? Well, um, before we bought the Papa Pump, and even before we um, looked at this, we did look at buying the traditional Lister Pump, and mm -hmm. have a small diesel engine, yeah. and we found that you know, by the time we bought the Lister Pump and the other things, you know, we were putting several thousands of pounds to it, and knowing that the Lister Pump actually there was problems with before, we wanted something that was actually cost effective, really, to do the job. We spent several hundred pounds on this already, and this is phase two, so we've probably burned four, four hundred, five hundred pounds, and spent just, a lot of time just, on and it. And quite a bit of time just investigating whether this is possible. Maybe we should have bought the pump straight away. Right. But we like to try and solve problems ourselves. And if it, you know, we thought that this was going to be simpler, and we thought it would do the job. Yeah. Actually, we've ended up cost-wise, it's better for us to buy the pump from yourselves.